our very first video with Sir George the Magnificent. Oh my gosh. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you would have met him a few months ago. My parents did have some dogs, some German Shepherds before, but I've never had a dog before. I've always been Cassie the dog stalker. Um, it's actually a hashtag. And I used to go around asking people if I could pet their dogs and take a photo. Yeah, I was that weird person. And unexpectedly, Sir George came into our lives and I just cannot tell you how happy I am. I never thought I would have had time for a dog. Um, Sam and I are always traveling, obviously the business is crazy and we just don't even have time for ourselves. And so when I saw Sir George and I fell in love, I just knew I just had to figure out how to make this happen. Even as busy as we are, somehow having this little guy in our lives has really slowed down time. I don't know what it is about owning a dog, but it kind of puts into perspective what's important in life. And I just really enjoy playing with him. He's teething right now, so he's like biting my fingers and biting my face and my toes and everything. And I love seeing him learn. So now I really understand you guys what it feels like to have a pup, to be a fur baby mama. And I don't know, you guys, I just love Sir George so much. And before I had him, I always thought, if they could only invent dogs that wouldn't poo, I would definitely have one right now. I didn't think I was the poo picking up type, but now I pick up all his poo. In fact, he has uh, been learning how to potty in the right places. And let's just say he, it's been a little bit challenging for all of us. And I've been picking up the poo in the house, on the anthropology carpet, on my yoga mat, everywhere. But even though I get mad at him for like a second, I still love him afterwards. I don't know why. How, I mean, how can you be mad at this face? Look at this face. Look at him. Now, for those of you who are dog people or cat people or pet people or mommies who have children at home, I've seen that working out can be quite a challenge. Anytime you're in a down dog position or you're on all fours, all of a sudden your babies think that you're playing with them. And so I thought, all right, if you can't work out alone, then you gotta work out with them. So today I want you to grab your baby, grab your dog, grab your turtles, grab whatever, or if you don't have one, grab a stuffed animal. And if you don't have that, then grab a bottle of water or something kind of heavy, a weight. And we're gonna work out today with Pup in our very first Pup Pilates workout. Let's go ahead and get started. You ready to work out with mommy? Yes, okay. Okay, so you guys pick up your baby, pick up your animal, pick up your stuffed toy or whatever it is. Lucky for me, George is only about four pounds. He'll grow a little bit more, but if your dog is 150 pounds, well, you are gonna look really good and be really sweaty after this workout. Okay guys, the first move is squats. Very simple, but this time you have a little fur friend with you. Legs hip width apart, you guys. Roll the shoulders back, open up the chest, long back. You're gonna sit the booty down right here, and then you're going to lift up. Make sure the legs are hip width apart, toes tracking forward, ready? You're gonna inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. I wonder if this feels like a big, like drop zone ride for George. Are you enjoying it? Yeah? He's enjoying it, look at that. See, he's not bothering me anymore because he gets to work out with mommy. Alrighty guys, so George is a pomapoo, meaning he is a mixture of a Pomeranian and a poodle. Um, and right now he's looking a little bit cinnamon sugary, but when I first got him, he was full brown with a little bit of white on like his nose, a little bit of white on his paws and a little bit in his underbelly. But I did not know that he was basically going to turn white. And I feel like as soon as we get him his first body haircut, cause he's had a face haircut, um, he might be a white pup with brown ears and a brown tail. And I'm, I'm just not sure if I'm ready for that yet. My mama heart still sees the brownness in George. All right, now we're gonna squat and pulse. Squat and pulse. Woo, how you guys feeling? You feeling good? Now George's just taking a nap while I'm working my booty. All right, keep your back tall. All right, check this out, look. My back is tall, I'm not hunching forward. If your dog is a little bit heavy, you might wanna bring him in a little bit closer to you, okay? You're coming down, you're coming down. Let's go, give me five, four, almost there. Three, two, and 
one. Whoo, okay, shake those legs out. Our next move is the lunge. So keeping your baby in the same position, all you're going to do is bring the leg forward and bring it back to standing. Bring the leg forward and bring it back to standing. So I'm gonna go sideways for you guys to see what this looks like. So check it out. When my leg comes down, it's a 90 degree in the front, and then I'm gonna lift back up. We're down here, lifting up. Notice how my back stays tall the entire time. I am not leaning forward. I'm simply walking with a big old step and then coming down to that 90 degrees. Just like that, working the legs, working the booty, and for me, also, working the biceps because I'm holding George slightly away from my belly. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Are you okay? And one more. Whew. Okay. All right, now we're gonna get a little bit interesting. George is gonna change his position. We're gonna do a Simba. You know that part in Circle of Life? Okay, not that high, but we're gonna do a lunging twist, so check it out. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna step forward, bring George to the front, twist, boom, and bring him back. Yeah, is that fun? Yeah, he looks excited. Okay, so we're here, twist, front, and back. Okay, here, so you're working the arms, you're working the shoulders, you're working the legs. You doing okay? You're working the obliques. Now just one more on each side. Doing so good, Sir George. Here, side, front. I think he's enjoying this ride. One more. And here, twist, boom, and there. Okay, very good. Very good boy. George has gotten tired during our workout. Okay, hey, I'm gonna do some bridges here. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and lift up and down. You're gonna lift up and down. Does that feel like an elevator ride, George? Oh, oh, he's getting feisty. Have it like that. And we're up and down. So this extra weight is going to help lift your booty even more. And if you can move your doggy a little bit closer to your hip area, that'll really help attack that. <laughs> Looks like he's having a great time. We're down and up. He's being so calm right now. All right, a little bit more. He's feeling like he's on top of the world. And one more, hold it up right there, okay. Since George is being so calm right now, I'm gonna see if I can do something else. You stay right there, right, Sir George? All right, scoot your feet a little bit closer together, and I want you to lift one leg. Okay, you can place this hand down for balance. You're gonna lift up the leg, you're gonna drop the leg. You're gonna lift and drop. Now, whether you have a dog, an animal, a child, whatever, this is still gonna kill your butt, <laughs> and my butt is shaking right now, as George is just chilling on my lower belly. Keep your toes pointed, keep your feet nice and pointed, squeezing the quads, lifting the hips, and give me one more right here. And place it down. Oh my gosh, did you feel that? Nah, he didn't feel it. Okay, legs together, extend, straighten, and lift, and lower. Nice work, nice work. George is just having a great time. Look at him, look at him. You guys, I am such a dog mama that when George goes pee or poo in the right place, I clap my hands and jump. Like, I am so excited for all the little things in life. When he sees things for the first time, I'm just so excited. Aren't you excited, George? And I love him so, so much. <sighs> okay, down and up. Lower and lift three more, down and up. Lower and lift one more, down and up and down. Oh my gosh, my booty. All right, let's see if we can sit up now. Will you let me sit up? Will you? Will you? Okay, I'm gonna try to sit up without bothering him too much. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Now, we're gonna try out plank with hand taps. So this is, um, I think, I haven't tried this before. I think this is gonna be a good like playtime activity with Sir George. So let's see how this works out, if he doesn't get distracted. All right, George. So you guys are gonna get in a plank position like so. George is now distracted by something on the floor. George, come back. Okay, my idea is that if I move my hands around like this, maybe he'll try to play with my hands. Where's George? <laughs> George! Okay, I'm gonna move this way. Okay, you wanna play a game? All right, check it out. Look at this. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> and you're gonna try to keep your hips as square as possible. And you're gonna tap, whoa, the edge of your mat. Boom, 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 boom. Really, you're just trying to distract your dog with your hands. Ooh, yes. Okay, it's somewhat working. Yeah, we're playing, we're playing. So this is gonna work your shoulders, it's working your core, it's working your back, it's making your dog happy, which is the point of pup Pilates. <laughs> bing, bing. Oh, he's so excited. So excited. Okay. Point. And point. Three more. Three. Two. One. And drop the knees. Okay. Very good. Oh, he wants more. He wants more. Okay, guys. So for a final move, I'm gonna try to do a roll up with Sir George. Um, and let's see what happens, okay? So we're gonna bring the legs down. I'm gonna put Sir George on my chest. Look how tall he is these days. When I first got him, he was like, the size of my hand. You're so big. Okay, legs hip width apart. Toes flexed. And I want you to inhale and exhale. Lift up, play the circle of life. <laughs> and we're gonna come down in just a couple more. Ready, Sir George, you're doing so good. Lift up. Yeah, yay, you're so good. Coming down. And last one, you guys. Let's go ahead and lift up all the way. And coming down. Yay! You did so good, Sir George, for your very first dog Pilates pop Pilates workout. Oh my gosh, he's tired. He's pooped from all those squats, from all those lunges, from all those crunches and everything, and those bridge pulses. He's done. Look at him. Chilling on my lower belly. Uh-ohs. George, that's inappropriate. George? George, this is a family-friendly show. George? All right, guys. George and I <laughs> are done for today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed watching or doing Pop Pilates with me. And let me know if you want to see Sir George back for another workout. Um, and also let me know if you guys have any pets and what their names are in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining us. And Sir George and I will see you next time. Just keep on